thought any more about uh, taking the one dude's offer for the uh, Pontiac? Yeah, I have. I'm spending between four hundred fifty dollars and five hundred fifty dollars a month in fuel. Want to know something kind of funny? Hmm. Maybe I can fucking. I could, that's a car payment. I could be, I could have a brand new car mm -hmm. with like that type of money. You wouldn't even be paying 500. I think my mom's is like 400 something. Or even less. Hers might be less than that. She's got a 2018 or something like that. That's a lot of money in gas. Cause isn't uh, regular gas right now like 390 or something like that? No, it's 420 or 430. I didn't think it was over four bucks. Anymore. Yeah, it went up. <laughs> well, I'm that gas out. I'm before it was four bucks. So screwed. In school wise, <laughs> just everything wise. You got. I know, this. man. I know this shit. This shit. One day, it's gonna pay off. I know it. I just gotta keep up with it. But it's one of those things, man, where it's like I don't know if I can do it. <sighs> Cause you're just too exhausted mentally, all the time. Just mentally, I'm slipping. I'm gaining weight. I need to start working out, but I don't have anybody to work out with, and I'm not gonna do it alone. Are you still doing Sorry, your one gotta... diet stuff or no? Your like chicken no. meals? No, that's too fucking expensive. I can't afford it. You've got the money for it now. Groceries, I'm not sure if you've bought groceries lately, but you know, food is expensive. I went grocery shopping yesterday. Chicken and I can get rice for cheap. Well, that's because you're buying fresh chicken. You're not buying frozen. A frozen bag of Meyer chicken. You can get five pounds for I think it's like twelve bucks. And that's like seven or more chicken breasts. That's not bad. No, it's not. You're probably spending what, like eight on like three fresh chicken breasts? Or maybe ten? Realistically though, when do I have the time to meal prep? Before you go to bed. <laughs> at 10.30 at night. Yeah, I cook all the time late at night. Yeah, but I got shit going on in the morning. I gotta wake up and, you know, waste my life. What do you mean waste? You ain't wasting it. Yeah, I am. You're working, making money. What's the difference? Now you sound like how I think. <laughs> you need well, to step yeah. that. Yeah, well, you already know my opinion. Of what? Which part? I've. We've, we've gone over my opinion. Just, you know what I think about it. Unless you forgot, but. I mean, I don't remember specifics of. Like, I don't know what you're contexting about that. Like, I 100% agree with you in the fact that, uh, I 100% agree with you in the fact that I need to, um, that, that working is retarded and it's, it's a waste of time, but I also understand that in order for me to get what I want in the future, mm -hmm. it's the obstacle I have to pass. So it's just one of those things where... You know, yeah, I'm, I just got to do it. It's just, it's just one of those things. Yeah, well, you also care, like, you want to have a family and everything like that and uh, be able to support and all that type of stuff. 
And at this yeah. point, I'm not too sure if <laughs> I really want a family anytime soon. No, I know you'll, you will at some point. At some point, I'm sure, but not anywhere in the near future. And do you know what you want? Um, To be able to enjoy my life. Which is why I'm trying to get this YouTube streaming thing picked up and going. And it's honestly going ten times better than I would have ever thought it was. Or would have. Well, just do whatever makes you happy. Mm -hmm. That's all you can do. I just need to figure out how to stream to both YouTube and Twitch at the same time. Because everything has just been exponential at this point. The amount of views I got all last week making videos and streaming, I got in a day and a half between yesterday and today. That's good. I think the analytics said I've gotten almost 60 views in the past uh, 48 hours. And my watch time has gone from like an average of five minutes to an average of an hour through my VODs. Mint. I, I just want it to work out so bad. And if that's what I gotta do to be able to have some form of freedom and be able to, I don't know, travel and do what I want to be able to do, then this is the grind that I gotta do, even if it's not gonna pay off for a while. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I just have to stay consistent, figure out editing, and keep videos pumping out. And I know you were talking about serious stuff, but something I realized doing like recording all this by myself is I am oddly good at talking to myself just in the quiet don't, don't take this the wrong way buddy but I know <laughs> cause I can just sit here and commentate like there's people talking and I feel like I sound nuts and I'm so glad that nobody around hears cause I just feel like to look at me and be like, who the hell is he talking to? Why is he talking so much? I feel so nuts. Me. Yeah, but I'm actually responding to you instead of it just being me responding to myself <laughs> and stuff like that. Well, you want, do you want to play something before I go to bed? Uh, yes. You kidding me? Well, what you want to play? I mean, right now I'm in a match at Dead by Daylight, but I'll hop off to play something else. Let's say we could play something kind of spooky, but I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> what, Faz? Yeah. That's, that shit's scary, man. Mm -hmm. We can if you want to. I, I'd stream some Faz. Shit myself, sitting in my chair. <laughs> Problem is my parents are trying to sleep above me. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> Just be screeching in your bedroom downstairs. I know for a fact I ain't gonna be able to stay quiet. Mm -hmm. I, I was playing 5M during class. Shit, you not. I got, I got so fed up with programming. It, it hurt my head so much. That I'm like, screw it. I'm done. I'm not doing it anymore. And I started playing 5M. I started making concrete. I made like... Shit, how much I made. I made like... 2,000 concrete mix or something like that. Jeez. I have enough. I have all the materials to make all my concrete mix. I've just been turning all my sand and uh, sawdust in the concrete mix. And I have all my water. So I have $800 million just sitting there looking at me. I just got to do something with it. Mm -hmm. So wanna buy that. Still what you wanna play? Or are you still not, I'm not quite sure? I don't know. You just don't wanna regret Fez, it. Faz is like... 
either way, I'm so so fucking exhausted right now that I can promise you, no matter what I play, I would fall instantly right asleep. Like but once just... you go into bed, or just while playing it. Oh, once I went to bed. So that's my biggest problem. I'm a, I'm a chicken shit with that stuff. I get thinking about stuff, and it doesn't help that. It doesn't help the fact that I, well, I already told you about that. It doesn't help that I seriously thought that I was being tormented by a demon. I, do, well, I, I don't hate. remember you talking about that. Oh, you don't remember that? No, I don't think you've you, ever mentioned you, being I tormented by a demon. I would okay, remember that. That would stick in my head. It, it sounds ridiculous, but there was, there was a good couple months in the past where I... I, oh, it was bad. Like every every night, I had a dream that I was being either tortured or like 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 I was being torn apart or uh, uh, something along the lines of that. Like my family was trying to get me, like kill me, mm -hmm. or just just these horrible things that I like I had no idea what was going on or why I was thinking of like this type of shit. And I basically, I came to the conclusion that like, you know, I don't know what's going on, but the only thing that's logically can go through my head right now is I think something is fucking with me. Like, I, I actually thought that I was being like, tormented by a demon. Like, I shit you not. It sounds insane. I realize it sounds insane. But, I remember you talking about having bad nightmares a bunch, but I don't remember the demon oh, part of it. No, it was I no, it was bad. It got to the point where I would I would hear shit move. Like my mind was I, I don't know if it was my head or what, but something was playing games with me. And uh it was it was so bad to the point where I would wake up mumbling stuff because in my dreams I was screaming like uh like uh Bible verses. Like it was bad, yeah. It was, it was. I couldn't. Yeah, it was pretty bad. I, uh, I, uh, I couldn't. For the longest time, I couldn't sleep. Where was I? I couldn't sleep alone. And then, um, it wasn't even. It wasn't even for, for the fact that I was afraid. Because for two or three weeks, I, I, I was alone. I just, I did sleep alone. I slept with, uh, I, I slept, um, in my, you know, in my room with, a, with all the lights off and shit, but I didn't sleep. I just, I kind of stayed up. I had my eyes closed and I tried to sleep. But I, the whole time I felt like I was being watched. You know, that, like, like that cold feeling that you feel like somebody is just that somebody is looking at you and you don't know where it is but you know for a fact it's happening mm -hmm. I, like I had that feeling for sort of feeling i had that feeling for three weeks gibby like i thought i was going insane i thought i was like mental and then i started uh i started i brought um penny into my room so she started she started sleeping with me in my room that's why she sleeps with me now and it wasn't even for the reason of having something with me. It was for for the sole purpose of, you know, if something is in my room, she might sense it too. No, well, that's a thing. You know that, right? Oh, yeah, I know. I know because she did, dude. She would randomly start growling at night. Really? Yeah. It was It was bad. I was being fucked with. I'm t I shit you not, I was being fucked with. It got to the point where I couldn't sleep. And I was repeating, I was, I was, I, I was, I'm Catholic, okay? And I don't really, I'm not super relig religious, but like, you know, mm -hmm. that shit right there is the reason I pray every night. And I'm happy, I'm, you know, <laughs> I sh I'm serious. I pray I know every you night. And I'm happy that I am uh, baptized. <laughs> Like, I don't know if it was, like, something I was mentally going through that made me think that shit, or if something was actually fucking with me, but... Well, when Penny for... would growl at night, would she be staring at something? Like, a corner yeah. in your room? 
Yeah. Was it the same corner every time? No, it would jump around. Hmm. That's that is strange. Like I brought, yeah. I thought you'd bring up the dog thing, like just because you wanted her down there. But the fact that you want her down there just in case to see something that she did. Yeah. No, I didn't. I didn't even. I don't like her in my room too much to begin with. One sec, Nikki's calling. Hello, baby. What you doing? What do you mean I haven't texted you back? Okay, I'm sorry. What did you text me? I'm sorry. What did you text me? Okay. Why are you hanging up? Because why? Okay. Not for much longer, I don't think. I'll play one round of something with Gibby and then I'm gonna head off. Yeah, no, I just. Yeah, I, I was in a pretty mad. I wasn't even in a bad mental state. I felt like I was doing good and happy and shit. Wait, is your phone call over? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Since you're, you're talking yeah. to Nikki like that out of nowhere. No. So you just think it was something screwing with you? Yeah. Well, just the fact of how long it it happened for. I'm just trying to, th like, thinking through it. It's like, why is something, like, spiritual wanted to torment you? Why would it all of a sudden stop? I don't know. Like, that part of it just doesn't really make sense to me. I think it's because I'm too mentally strong, maybe. Because it tried for so long, and I just, I never, I never gave in. I mean, you said you couldn't I never... really sleep. <laughs> well, yeah, but I never, I never became weak because of it. I always, I always kept praying. I always... I never, I always like, kind of, it sounds retarded, but I always like stood my ground. Mm -hmm. I was, I was mentally, I think I was mentally going through something. It's possible. Which I, I don't really understand what I, what it could have been. It could have to do with like the same principle as, you know how you can have the thought of, Oh my goodness, there's a spider in my bed and it's crawling on my leg. And then you feel like something inching up your leg, like multiple little pitter patters. I could be, yeah. Because your brain can. Your mind is the coolest freaking thing ever. I could talk about your br anybody's brain forever. It's The mind is so cool. If you think something hard enough into existence, you will think it's happening. And that's just the power of your brain. Well, I was trying to explain that to one of my other... Are you streaming right now? Uh, Yeah, do you want me to stop? No, no, you're good. I was trying to explain that to one of my buddies. I believe in... Uh, I believe in... Um, it sounds, once again, you know, I'm going fucking crazy, but I believe in... Um, Can I agree with half your quote-unquote uh, manifest crazy man Manifestation. I think that that shit's a thing. And what do you mean by that? Um. Uh. Holding holding your goals on a pedestal, and uh. Um. You know, to treat what's the word strategically, Strategic. like um. Uh, yeah, there you go. Strategically, um planning out and mentally like like punching a hole into your brain of this is this is what I want and this is how I'm going to get it this is what I want and this is how I'm going to get it this is what I want and this is how I'm going to get it mm -hmm. so you're saying manifestation in the terms of like similarly determination yeah well well yeah 
And what were you, what were you talking about someone about that for? Because they uh, they were not not doing their mentally they were fucked up or they still are fucked up. You know, I was you trying to explain to them like on purpose because of the stream. Yeah, they were. Yeah, they were just um. They were coming to me, saying that they were they they wanted help with something. I basically just told them when I was at my lowest. I just I thought about what I wanted and how I would get it. And it sounds stupid, but the shit worked for me. And it worked really good. Mm -hmm. That's kind of how, like, my mindset for the YouTube. Mm -hmm. Like, my goal, I want to be able to live my life and be able to travel and be able to see the world. And I enjoy, like, entertaining and stuff like that. Even though I am more introverted, I still enjoy it. Mm -hmm. I enjoy being an idiot and a clown. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but... So, at this point, like, I feel like that's the reason that I've been getting out of bed earlier. Because I want to make this happen. And seeing yeah, the results well, and seeing it exponentially get bigger, I know it can happen. As long as I keep on track and stay determined on it. I've explained that to you before, buddy. I know, but I'm an I'll, idiot. <laughs> you, have, you have to be determined. You have to want something in order for you to work towards a goal. Mm-hmm. Like, my driving factor, I want a family. I want a family worse than you would ever imagine. I want to wake up one day, have a beautiful house, have a family, have, you know, fun toys, and be happy with the job I'm doing, and be, like, comfortably live. Mm -hmm. That's what I want to do. I know for a fact, you know... I know what I want, and I know how I'm going to get it. I just got to put in the work. That's just that's where I'm at. I have to put myself through the stress. I have to do what I have to do so one day I can have that outcome that I want. Mm -hmm. And it sounds this sounds so horrible, and I hate saying it, but I'm every, every goal I have and every goal I've ever made in my entire life, I've made it with myself in mind. I don't expect and I don't I'm I'll never ever plan a goal with anybody else in mind. Not even not even Nikki. And it sounds horrible and I've explained it to her. But all of my goals, my future is based off myself. Because God forbid something happens, my goals don't change. I still have something to work towards and work for. Mm-hmm. It makes sense, That's... and, like, uh, I guess what you're trying to say is you hate the thought of being selfish, but it's the way that you look at it and then you know you're going to get to your goal, which makes it's... complete sense because selfishness, A, is necessary 100% to get any, like, to get somewhere. If you're just depending on everybody else, you get stuck while everybody else is moving. Yep. So the selfishness yeah, I, part is necessary, even though it, I, I I know what you mean by it. it sounds bad and you hate saying it. I I don't wanna, I don't wanna look. Look at it as you know I'll, I'm, you know I don't wanna look at it as we're not you know a thing. But I'm also saying that. It's just it's very 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 important that. I keep my goals in in mind mm -hmm. you know i need to have well that's what it comes down to i need to have something to work for because i would a point in time i didn't have something to work for and that was the worst literally probably the worst of my entire life i was i i see my future I see my future in, you know, with my own eyes, you know, as my coworkers. Mm -hmm. I got out of work every day and I went to my buddy's house and I drank and I texted random people about stupid shit. 
and I did that every day for a very long time. And then I woke up one day and said, I'm very unhappy with who I am. And I started manifesting and really thinking about what I wanted and how I would get there because I didn't know what I wanted. Mm -hmm. I'm still trying to figure that out. But yeah, I did know same. I did know what I didn't want. I did not want to be like those guys I was working with. Mm -hmm. They're they're really nice guys. Don't get me wrong. They're really cool guys. You know, they deserve the world. But at the end of the day, they're bums. And I'm not a bum. I'm not gonna i I'm not gonna be that. I'm not gonna turn out like that. I'm not gonna do it. I'm I need to I need to become something mm -hmm. I had I had the opportunity of being born in America a white male from a, a not not wealthy but you know a upper middle class family mm -hmm. that has all the opportunities in the world I'm gonna do whatever I can to give back and I need to help myself first before I can help others. Because mm -hmm. that's that's something I've been thinking about a lot. Did I have I have I talked to you about that? Uh, I mean, you might have touched on it, but I don't think we've ever had like a long, long conversation. I I keep thinking about that all the time. I think about the elites of the world and how much power they have and what they do with it, and they just they don't do anything. Mm -hmm. They don't do anything with it at all. At least anything useful. And help all of all of their power is is a joke the elites of the world do nothing but sit around and i want to become something so i can do something better than myself i don't want to just sit around like those people mm -hmm. you it's mean like easy. sitting around like at a desk job or like what do you mean by sit around elites elites do you know what i mean by elites like the billionaires in the world the, the people that have the people that run the world the people that call the shots mm -hmm. i don't care who i don't care what you think or who you are at the end of the day the world is run by the elites mm -hmm. i know i sound like a crazy crazy person like but, conspiracy yeah but i don't think it's a conspiracy yeah, i think no. it's a fact that, that the true. world the world is run by money and oh well that's a the fact money, you hold the and the elites hold the money that's why the whole uh, presidential election is so janked up. Cause it doesn't matter what kind of plans you have, what kind of intent you are. It's who who has the better campaigning fund. Who's got more money? That person is most likely going to become the next president. I know. And that's how Biden got into the presidency. Because all the hissies are like, yay, he's doing things for us. Old man Sleepy Joe, he's going to help us out. And he's done jack shit. <laughs> Because he had money. I don't know nothing about politics. It's all around politics. Money. Politics is one of those things where I don't have the care or want or need to learn, because in my eyes, I'm I'm a I'm an ant. I'm a self-aware ant, and you know. The elites are the people with the water hoses that are just shooting the water at the ants. Mm -hmm. I'm a self-aware ant that no shit's wrong and it's not the way it's supposed to be. But at the end of the day, I'm not going to be able to change it. Mm -hmm. So all I can do is my best and work my hardest. And instead of, you know, just being another ant and trying to trying to understand stuff that I'll never be able to understand and knowing that type of information is not going to help me in any way anyway mm -hmm. i'll just i'll just do my own thing that's why i hate watching the news and anytime my mom asks me a question about it or like what i think about what's happening i'll, I'll just like the shit that's happening in ukraine for example she, the when that started happening she, my mom started asking me like oh like what's your what do you think about this i'm like i don't know what the hell am i gonna do feel sorry for him what am I going to do, march over there and stop Russia? No. It's going to happen whether I have an opinion on it or not. So why not Why not me just not worry about it, not make it a problem with my life, 
because there's nothing I'm going to be able to do about it. Yep. And that's why yeah. I feel like I sound super shallow half the time because I've even like back in high school, like shit's happening across the world. Oh man, there's a school shooting and stuff like that. It's like, sure, that's, it's awful that it happened, but what am I going to do? Feel sorry for all the people who died? No, that shit happened and it's in the past and there's nothing going to change it from it having happened. So there's no it's point just, of feeling grief about any of it. It's good to be, it's good to be self-aware about all that stuff, but realistically, there's nothing we can do. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to try to start a movement. I'm not going to, you know, at the end of the day, all that shit just turns corrupt anyways. Yeah, don't you dare become a damn Karen. <laughs> <laughs> well, not even that, just those, those movements of we're a movement we're helping this minority group or we are we're helping this cause no you're not because at the end of the day they take the money they get from that shit and they waste it on the most retarded stuff mm -hmm. well plus half that shit isn't even uh necessary it's just people who are ill-informed on the rights that they already have because yep. they're too sensitive and want to have an ego towards it and they want to feel important so they're like I'm an activist for women's rights. And it's like, okay, what rights do women not have? Yep. And they'd be like, because they have everything. Just like men. The world is fair and equal. It's just that people care too much about the individual's feelings and what they're perceived as. Well, that's, that's the biggest problem. And that's that's the biggest problem with the world and I don't know what happened and why it's like that but I and I know people are gonna hate me for saying this but facts do not care about your feelings it's just the truth I don't mm. know why I don't know why people don't like that saying but it's just the truth facts don't give a shit about your feelings and that's just how it is mm-hmm I know somebody might be feeling that, like, something like that some way, but, you know, take a look at yourself. Figure out why you're feeling that way. Ask yourself if there is seriously something you can do about it. And if you think that you can make a change, oh, fuck it. I don't give a shit. Go ahead and do it. Go ahead and do whatever you want to do. Do what makes you happy. I, I couldn't care less. Do whatever makes you happy. You do you. I'm going to do myself. And, uh... <laughs> You know that's Sorry. that's the end of that. I don't I don't give a shit. But it's just uh, I don't care. And that's that's your, that's literally my my point that I'm trying to make across. My entire life, my whole. If anybody asks me what my political views are or what I stand for or or anything about anything my my life view and my answer to everything is you do you i'm gonna do me mm -hmm. i don't give a shit what you do as long as you're not hurting yourself or other people or me well yeah yourself or other people that's 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 basically what it comes down to that's literally my point of view mm -hmm. and i 100 percent agree because that, that is my point of view as well I've had people come up to me that are like uh, like gay and stuff, and they've been worried about my point of view. It's I don't understand why you would worry about my point of view. You do you, and I'll do me. What do you I mean by give a shit worried less. about your point of view? Like, what do you mean by the, that? They're the, the worried. They're worried that I'll change what I think about them. You really think I give a shit? I, it's, it's just one of those things where it's just people... Actually, it makes me think they're retarded for the fact that they think I would care about something like that. Mm -hmm. Like, you mean if you met somebody and then they told you, like, say that they're gay or trans or something like that? No, it's happened before. But you mean by Which them is... revealing that type of stuff that it would change your opinion about them? Is that what you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. It's like people are people. Just... And people are going to like different things no matter what we all like. I don't know if it's like a, like a stereotype or what. Because I am, 
I don't know what the word is. You might you might have a word for it. I'm uh what's the word? Try to describe it instead of thinking of a, of a specific word. Brutally honest. Don't really give a shit. Um and I'm open for people to see my opinion. A level headed person? Someone who's smart, understands what is right and wrong, understands that people are going to be different and there's nothing we can do about it. So you just got to be like, you're a person, whatever. Well, even that, right and wrong. I I don't know what right and wrong is. God God is my only... Yeah, it's objective opinion. God's my... God's, in my eyes, God's the only judge. He's the only person that knows what's right and wrong. So, as far as that, I don't fucking know what's right and wrong. Mm-hmm. But, you know, but to I have you, morals. You, if you would know what I have, you would hate doing to somebody. I, I have, well, morals. I have morals, and I I personally know what I'm okay with doing and what I'm not okay with doing. Mm-hmm. It's just, it's one of those things where... And, you know, me saying that, you know, it could be interpreted, 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 what's the word? Interpreted. You kind of yeah, said it right the first time. <laughs> interpreted. <laughs> and, and, uh, <laughs> interpreted in, in different ways. That's not saying that, you know, I'm not okay with mass genocide. <laughs> <laughs> well, if we're going to be completely honest, it's necessary <laughs> to keep the world Ooh. alive and stable. Think about it. If, well, something oh, that... Girl, girl, girls. <laughs> okay, well, not necessarily like that. Just people in general. Like, people, like, the whole um, green movement and all that type of shit. It's like, it really won't matter. As long as humans are reproducing and consuming more land, the human race is gonna die off eventually. Whether we like it or not. So, a pretty large genocide knocking out, like, say, half the population, say a Thanos situation happens, that'd be good for the world. Everything comes to an end. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Which is exactly why I want to enjoy my life. That is my only goal, is I want to enjoy my life and be happy. I don't care what I, like, what... I need to do to get there, how long it takes. I just want to, at the end of the day, my last dying breath, be able to say, I enjoyed my life. I had a good time. I want to enjoy my life as well. Which but. is why when we have money and are rich, we need to travel. <laughs> yeah. I'm just I'm trying to figure out how I can do both. You'll you'll get to a point eventually. It's just the what like the means of whether or not you're okay with it taking a long time. And how long you want it to take want for it to take b- before it happens. Yeah. All right, buddy. I gotta go to bed. <laughs> Dang it! I was just about to say. Having these types of conversations late at night is one of my favorite things. It's just relaxing and genuine conversations about shit in the world. I don't know. I enjoy it. I don't know. You're the only person I can have these type of conversations with. Nobody else is... (sighs) What's, What's the word? Nobody else is capable of having a functional and productive conversation with me i guess if that makes sense because i love my friends you know don't get me wrong but i you know i can't talk to them we're always just bullshitting or doing something stupid you mean you can't like have a genuine conversation with any of them it's got to be like a joke yeah plus i wouldn't i don't even know if i would trust to have a genuine conversation with them they're too they're too close-minded they're not self-aware they don't really understand you know different opinions it's Mm -hmm. just it's one of those things where 
I that's something that's a personal thing I want to work on is trying to understand why people think the way they do I want to become a social I want to become a social engineer eventually dude I could talk about that type of shit for hours I know I, I really I really think it would be it'd be cool to be a social engineer because uh, you mean like a psychologist right not not necessarily a psychologist um i'm it sounds horrible but i don't really give a shit about why they feel the way they do or how they think i just want to know how they think and how to manipulate that information and make them feel more comfortable if that makes sense sounds like a psychologist <laughs> i don't i don't really i don't really care about how they feel I, I more care about how i can change my personality to to like evolve around like temporary temporarily evolve around to cater to somebody else's personality so you mean I what i very, do when i meet new people so, so i can very quickly um like like attach on and figure out what that person is try to figure out their attentions and like you want to become more empathetic <sighs> no this okay this is gonna sound absolutely horrible like abs just horrible and yes i do want to become more empathetic that is another goal i want to work towards because i'm very uh i'm not emotionless but i don't like I said, I don't cater to people, and I don't really care about people's feelings. If it's something that I don't think is a good reason, if I think people are just feeling bad for themselves, you know, that's that's a whole other topic that, you know, that's something I want to work, work on being more empathetic towards people, because it's a horrible trait I have, but going back on the topic, I'm not really worried about being empathetic, I'm worried about... Um, figuring out intentions and trying to understand how people work that way i can figure out if if that person is a value to myself to an extent i know what you does mean. that make sense because mm -hmm. i don't want to surround myself around people that are toxic i want i want um i want to be able to temporarily um manipulate somebody so I can truly understand who they are and then based on that information I can decide whether or not this is somebody that would be awesome to hang out with and that I can actually spend more time with or somebody I should just avoid you know in general because it would be a toxic a toxic um, a friendship and I just don't feel like I, I, don't, I don't want that I want something that's you know lightweight relaxing just you know somebody mm -hmm. that's cool to be around that i can connect with i don't really give a shit about you know i don't i don't want to you know i don't what's the word i don't you know you can you can learn a lot by by manipulating somebody because you you give you know my true personality you know exactly who i am mm -hmm. but new people i meet I'm starting to kind of change that. Like at work, um, well, you know me. There's, I, I have a, a very low tolerance for ignorant people, and co and cocky people, mm -hmm. and bullshit. There's, there's a, there's yeah, there's a, there's a guy at work where he's all of those things. He speaks a lot of shit. He's very cocky, and um, he's just all around a piece of shit. I don't like him at all. Mm -hmm. But. Every time I'm around him, I ask him about, I ask him about, um, the, I ask him about shit that's interesting to him. I act like I'm very engaged in the, in the conversation. Realistically, I want to beat the shit out of him because I hate everything he says. He's so freaking annoying. I had but a person that, like that at with, Toyo. With that, with that connection I've made, I, I now have access to, to, um, uh, 
potential, what's the word, or, uh, I guess I, I'm just, I'm saying I made my life easier on myself by, by, you know, kind of figuring out who that person was and mentally, like, manipulating. I was able to get out a lot of information and, um, you know, he, he's, you know, I've, I've had him do a couple of tasks for me that I didn't want to do. Like, for example, I was in the engineer's office. I called him up and I asked him if he could run over to the CMM room and ask somebody a couple questions mm -hmm. simply because I, well, I was lazy and I didn't want to do it. And he did it for me instantly and he called me right back. Mm -hmm. So, I, you, you know, sucking up and kind of dealing with the bullshit, I was able to manipulate somebody into <laughs> getting them to do me shit. Back when I worked at Toyo, one of the um, the people that bring around all of the shit, I forget what their name is, what the title is, but the stalker, pretty much, whatever the actual word is that, he was an asshole and had, like, very, um, like, sexist views and everything like that. And I know exactly what you mean about, all right, bring up something they like and just talk to them. And get an idea for what they're doing and how they think through things. And something like you've probably heard uh, the term or the phrase before, but you never truly know somebody until you see them when they're mad. Yep. That is when the deep down like intentions and um, personality traits come out of a person is when they're mad. And that really is besides like long like genuine conversations that is the best way to learn somebody i'm not saying like piss somebody off and then you'll figure out how, what they're like but people show their yeah, true that's... colors and what they truly mean when they're mad yeah and that's something i need to i need to work on too because i um i don't get like i don't get pissed off a lot but i'm very snappy um, not really snappy just i don't tolerate shit i guess and i don't i don't really get mad i just don't deal with it if something's happening that i don't like i just let it go and i don't deal with it mm -hmm. and me not caring tends to piss some people off <laughs> so um it's just it's one of those things I want to work on because if I want to be good at you know social manipulation I need to be able to mask my own feelings and mask what I'm feeling in the moment mm -hmm. so that's if I want to become really good at this I need to do that and then you know this I'm not doing this for nothing this information I can use I can actually implement it into my day-to-day -day work because my I'm not sure how much you know about what I want to do but um, my end goal is I want to eventually contract myself out. I don't really want to work for somebody. I thought I want you wanted to, to go into real estate. Well, yeah, that's that's like the final. But, you know, in order for me to make money, make a lot of money to do that real estate, I'm mm -hmm. going to contract my work out. I want to do consulting. I want to do audits. I want to do, um, like, customer compliance work, that type of stuff, where, you know, um, threat response... Um, data, data penetration, that type of stuff, mm -hmm. and I can. Fuck, dude, I'm I'm introverted. I don't like talking to people at all. So almost everybody I have to talk to, anyways, it's it's already me throwing an act on. Mm -hmm. I've gotten so good. I've gotten so good at acting, like I'm comfortable, that I it's just become reality. Gosh, the more you're talking, the more I start thinking about me and the shit that I do. I feel like I do that to people. I feel like I yeah. put on a face. Uh, I hope it just doesn't come off wrong. What do you mean? I don't know. I feel like... I don't know. My brain's in a... like I look like a bowl of spaghetti noodles right now inside my head. <laughs> you know exactly well, like, what I mean. Well, it's like with my like like close family 
and like people like you that people like just and like Nikki people that I completely trust mm -hmm. it's one of those things where I can say all this shit because you guys you truly know you guys truly know my personality mm -hmm. where other people that I'm not necessarily close to I can pull this shit off I can actually fake a personality and it sounds horrible it sounds absolutely horrible but at the end of the day I'm not hurting them I'm practicing social manipulation to help myself, and um, it's 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 kind of a win-win for everybody. I'm just it's not even social manipulation at that point. It's it's just practicing social skills to get better, but I'm using it as a a way in so I can potentially you know exploit it to figure out whether or not this person is worth it or not worth it. Mm -hmm. You have to become a person to be able to truly understand them. And I'm, yeah. I'm taking that as, like, what everything you've been saying, that's why you want to uh, be able to figure out people easier, like you were saying, so you could decide whether or not someone's going to be an asshole, someone you end up hating, or someone you're going to end up actually enjoying like spending time with and interacting with. Like, needing to, like, figuring out like start of a conversation what they enjoy then talking about what they enjoy and acting like you know what they're talking about with mm -hmm's <laughs> and stuff like that yeah 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 just just keep leading them mm -hmm. like there's there's a difference from i don't know it's just, just different personality people i guess well some people just could care less what a person thinks about them and uh like could care less what type of person they are they just want that interaction so a lot of people like you were saying just don't really care to learn others and care about what they their true intentions and their like deep dark secrets like stuff like that most people just don't care and aren't interested in it but see, I, I like I to kinda, see it as, like, valued information, like, stuff that, you, like, I've been told to, because I'm a vault and can also understand and help, uh, like, anybody, talking to anybody, like, help them figure situations out better by knowing how they react and what kind of things they do. Yeah, yep. Plus, it's fun. Yeah. Once you get good at it, I feel like you'll enjoy it. I got the best. I got the best of both worlds with that, pretty much. Because I, I'm to the point now where it is, it's not, it's not kind of bad, but it's very relaxing because I don't really give a shit what people think about me at all. Like, you know, being, being, you know, 350 pounds and middle school. That that does shit to people. That that that'll do. That'll 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 fuck that'll fuck anybody up. Mm -hmm. So, learning that and having that mindset, and I've I've been called and I've heard and I've I've seen everything. It's so like shit that happens to me now. It's like nothing. Mentally, nobody can mess with me. The only thing that mentally hurts me is people that I actually care about, you know, having an issue. That's the only thing that'll ever mentally hurt. Mm -hmm. There's there's nobody in this world that no random person can say something to me that'll bother me because I've heard every single thing in the world. And I'm not convinced anybody can really physically hurt me either. So <laughs> well, I know because you're not, a tank. Are you kidding? I'm not, very, I'm not very concerned about that type of stuff. So that's why. I'm very like, you know, I'm very, I'm, I'm more focused on how to, how to manipulate people into, you know, myself being what they want. Mm -hmm. That way I can figure out people's true intentions. I enjoy, not, I don't want to use this word as in a bad way, but tearing like people down, not in a sense of like making them feel bad, but a sense of taking their personality and pulling it apart into pieces like remember yeah. that um 16 personality whatever quiz i 
asked you to take. Yeah. Yep. Like, look, when I back when I looked at all that type of stuff, it kind of just everything made sense. Like learning a from a variety of people. I had a, I think I still do, but I have a note on my phone where I wrote down like all the personalities of everyone I found out about. And they're all true. Like people hate the stereotyping and everything that like that with personality types. But like looking into all that type of stuff and learning about it, sure it's not going to like put everybody in these individual boxes, but it just sets the base tone for what their personality is going to be like. And it it just helps out so much picking like learning that type of stuff. To be able to, like you're saying, pick out like the bad apples from yep. the bunch. So, like, if you ended up looking into that type of stuff, I feel like that would help out what you're trying to do, and actually read into it and all of that. Plus, it's fun, and like I, I don't remember exactly when I had you take it, but it kind of just helps. Like you think about yourself and how you act and what it says about you and you realize like reading it into it it's just accurate Mm -hmm. and a lot of it is true the more deep down you think about everything it's just accurate like these personality tests and shit online aren't just there as a gimmick to be like "Ooh, take this thing it's fun and then you can compare it with your friends it's true and it's accurate and it's based off of Real life psychology. Yep. Yeah, I. Going, going back on that stuff, it's like. I've had. I'm not going to say I've had multiple personalities, because I've always had the same personality. But it's like. Like, for example, this weekend, there's supposed to be a party I'm supposed to go to, and I'm kind of nervous about it, because. I'm not the same person that I was this time last year or this time I was two years ago. You know, I, these people that I used to think of as friends, they, I don't, they don't know me. They don't know who I am. I, you know, when I was younger, I was clear minded. I thought about what I wanted and how I'd get it. And I had no, nobody but myself. So I kind of just, I, I did my own thing. I spent a lot of time planning, thinking about what I wanted and how I wanted to get it. Mm-hmm. And then after I graduated, kind of that year, I became a different person. I was very, uh, I was very social. I didn't feel for anybody. I didn't really have feelings. I didn't give a shit what happened to anybody. Um, and I, I spent a lot of time. Um, doing what I wanted to do, how I wanted to do it, and with, you know, with whoever I wanted to do it with, and I just, I didn't really give a shit. But now, you know, I've changed. I, I feel like I'm the best of both worlds. I'm, I, I'm back to that very clear-minded mindset where I, I understand what's important to me, because I've had time to think about it. Mm-hmm. But I'm also, I'm also to the point where I'm, I'm working on being empathetic, and I'm very, uh, I'm, I still have that mindset of I don't really care what you think about me. Nothing, nothing really bothers me. So I feel like, you know, the different, you know, actions and things that I've gone through leading up to this point, I'm slowly becoming mentally the best person I could be. I, you know, f- physically, there's a lot of things I need to do. And mm-hmm. I have a list of stuff I want to get done. But mentally, I'm slowly working towards the person I want to be. I'm curious to me, see if your personality type would time. change according to that website. I wonder if it is different. I don't know. Maybe. Because I'm not sure. Because you, I'm not sure if you, you, I don't, I don't know if you knew me before I was social. Uh, you mean like chemistry? You weren't the hugest social person. No, I mean... You were... I mean, you've always been more 
closed off. Not really closed off, but... I'm a people watcher, dude. I don't really... I don't feel the need to go walk up to somebody. I don't mm -hmm. feel the... The thing about me is I try my best to make a really good first impression, but I don't do it that often because I don't care. I don't really... It's I'm not really a necessity. Comfortable. I'm comfortable with what I have. I don't really... I don't need to know new people. Mm -hmm. And that's another thing. That's another thing I need to change, because that would help my my uh, my social engineering, and it would also allow me to meet new people and possibly make new friends. But that that gets very complicated, and there's a lot that you know. There's a lot of effort that goes there's, towards there's a, it. There's a lot of effort, and there's a lot of necessary. And when I say necessary, I mean necessary. There's a, when you have new friends, there's a lot of necessary stuff you have to do. Where, like shit, like I don't know, it's just it's just different. Like, like in terms out, of, sorry, what? Like if I went out right now and tried to find a new friend, you know how long it would take for me to get to the point where I could like comfortably sit down and have a conversation with them. It's just, I feel like it's weird. Because I'm so, I'm so, like, socially awkward. I would, <clears throat> don't get me wrong, I would be able to do it super easily. Because I could, I could change my personality to be what they wanted. Mm -hmm. But it's like, like, for example, for me to, me to get a friend to the point where me and you are at, you know how long that would take me? <laughs> They'd have to play just, a good couple of thousand hours in ARC. <laughs> Be just, just, just for the fact that I, well, I don't like. After some, uh, after some bad shit happened, I don't really like. I don't trust people, so it's, it's like. I don't know. It's like it's weird. It's like that situation made me numb. If it makes sense. Because mm -hmm. it's like. It's like I'm not really sad about it. I'm not really happy about it either. You know, I just. I just, I don't feel anything about it, but it also changed my perspective of how I think about different things, if that makes sense. Can you, uh, interpret a little more? Like, what do you mean, specifics? Like, an example, maybe. <sighs> so... Elaborate. Like, what do you mean specifics? <laughs> I don't know. I'm so jumbled up. I'm thinking so many things. I'm just trying to get a grasp on everything at once, which is screwing me up more. Like, like I know everything that you're. I understand everything you're talking about and everything like that. But I don't know. I guess it's just me. Like you're talking about, like wanting to learn social. Uh, what did you? What were you calling it? Social. Social engineering. Engineering. It's basically social engineering is described as basically the manipulation of somebody else's brain into allowing the, or allowing yourself. You know, it's it's basically like opening up a back door into finding out who somebody is and why they do the stuff they do. Mm-hmm. You should learn, uh, another cool thing is, uh, body language cues. Oh, yeah. No, that's... Already, that shit's fun. I'm not gonna say I know body language, but, like I told you, I was very, 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 um, uh, independent and introverted, so body language is one of those things. I, I can, I can, I can point out across the room what is going on and I'm, I'm pretty decent at it because me and my dad when I was younger that's what we did mm -hmm. we'd walk around the grocery store and we would point out what was going on and what we thought would what we thought was going on and then we would walk up to that person and get just just close enough and walk by and see what they were talking about and we would guess if we were right or not dude we that's what I do in school that's why I would always ask random questions to new people I would meet because that is the best way 
to get a really good first impression of that person is how are they going to respond that tells you so many things about their personality in one question yeah Mm. Now you got me, like, grinning the whole time. <laughs> I'm thinking about, like, psychology type of stuff. It's all well, so much can, fun. We can talk about it more soon. I'm, gotta go I'm sure we will. Little... All right, buddy. I'll see you later. I'll talk to you Sunday, yes? Uh... Maybe sooner? <laughs> Maybe sooner. As far as Sunday, I don't. I'm not too sure. I mean, it's mother. It's Mother's Day. There's a lot of shit going on, so I don't. Maybe. Is it Mother's Day? Yeah. Heck. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay, later, buddy. All right. Get some sleep. I'll talk to you later. I, I will. Bye bye. See you later. Man, those are the conversations I live for. Right there. No one's probably ever going to watch this VOD, so nobody will ever really think about anything like what we just talking about, but man, too much truth. Man, now I can think about psychology stuff. We just talked for like an hour and 20 minutes. Okay, well, so I'm just going to state this after having that long conversation. For anybody who's possibly wondering and possibly cares, probably nobody does, but I am an INFP, if anybody was wondering. An INFP, Virgo Sun, uh, Pisces Moon, man. So basically, a chick, but a dude. Kind of stereotypes, at least. Hmm, man, that was such a good conversation. Man, we could do like an hour-long podcast every day, having to do with stuff like that, psychology and everything. But like for any of you out here, or listening, possibly watching, anything like that, say you're in an argument with someone, you're both, like it's a, not quite heated, like it's not quite screaming and yelling, but you're both passionate about what you're arguing about. The words that people use to articulate are used for a purpose. And whenever you see or hear somebody rephrasing anything, it's usually because uh, they realized subconsciously that you didn't like that response so they'll switch it to something that's less harsh but whenever arguments like that are happening that raw uh those raw first words whatever they're using is probably how they truly deep inside feel about what you're arguing about 
and having arguments and discussions with your friends, family, stuff like that is how you really learn how they think and how, how what goes on inside of their head. And it is so much fun to do. And once you learn their personality and stuff like that, then you can go into learning their body language. And it is not, in my opinion, the other way around. Because some, like, people, uh, the crossing of the limbs, anything, legs, arms, can hint, emphasis on can, can hint on somebody not, uh, feeling comfortable in the situation or feeling like they're pressured because those are both kind of defensive. Crossing your arms, you're covering up your body, you're defending yourself. Say you're sitting down, they cross their legs in between their chair or something like that. That's also them trying to sit there and defend themselves because they feel cornered. It's a fight or flight response. But there you go. There's a little bit of something, something. For anybody who's watching this now or in the future. Psychology is a cool thing and something, in my opinion, everybody should learn. At least a little bit. The bare bones is, I feel like, necessary. Psychology is fun. And if any of you are wondering, my buddy, Nacho Friend, the person who's in the Discord call, uh, actually I'm not going to tell you his personality type. If you really care, you'll find out. Or just know. But I am very curious as to if it's changed. Just know the hint. He's the opposite of me, but also being an introvert. That's all you're getting. And if you know the kind of 16 generalized personality types and all of that then you'll know what I mean by opposite of mine but but uh who is the killer oh it's clown still coming. Are you kidding? You grabbed somebody out of a locker. Oh, that's good. Though. Get a gen done. You'll go over there. We're all good. If 
I hadn't gotten stuck in the house and I knew where I was going, I could have gotten out that window and not even taken a hit. But then I don't think I would have gotten out. I would have ended up getting hit. You can sit on the top for a while, so I'm going to stay there. Why did that sound close? Does he have room? No, okay. Let me see if I can... could have gotten you before stage two, you idiot. Actually. Let's get you healed. Run away. You've gotten the heal. Do not waste it. Don't you dare. That's just thinking. This building. Okay, I think he's walking away. Really? She's dead already? Wow. Man, that's bad. I don't know if we're making it out of this then. Upstairs because he's probably gonna be marching right over here. Right when I finish this. Oh, there's no... Oh. Oh, my goodness. Is he not coming this 
Monster. No. Okay, okay, okay. At least he doesn't have a pop. That would be bad. I need to demolish this gym. I wonder what the last two gems are though. That's not good. Let's check in this house. None of you go down. Because there's a gen done in there. So there's gotta be a gen. Alright, he's back in this corner. That one's done. Oh, is it down in the basement in here? Oh no, it's right here. Let's just walk away. We have not healed at all this entire match, which is not good. We really do not have very many pallets left. That's not good. Yes, yes, yes. Just keep doing what you're doing. But don't run to this side of the map. And I should be able to finish this and we can get out. Yes. Hooked right now, so I am opening those damn gates. Okay, hopefully, the other two are on the other side. The other dude left. Through my exit gate. Aww. Oh, that's not good. Was oh, he looking for Hatch? You should have checked that building behind you. I bet it's back there. Why aren't you looking around at all either? He saw you. Go. You could dead hard through him. Where are you running? And why aren't you looking behind you? You're so dead. Slam that pallet in his face? Aw, oh, you. Now you're deaf 
Overpowered as it can get. But she still died. Still a good match either way. Merciless Storm and Pop. Oh, he did have Pop? <laughs> He's like, man, that was sad. And I'm like, man, that was funny. Whoops. You messed up in so many different ways. The combo of it all together, though, was pretty damn fun. But hey, gotta do what you gotta do. Man, it's not even midnight. Actually, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'll be right back.
I'm back. I apologize, but that was a long time. But I hope you'll forgive me. Still plan on stream until probably about two two a.m. I wonder if this matchmaking was as quick as it was last night. Last night was nuts. Be in matchmaking for maybe 30, 40 seconds. I don't understand how. If all like the solo people play really late. Because last night's stream went, I think I started at around 4 a.m. And ended around 5, no, I ended around like 7, I think. I don't remember exactly. wasn't too awful.
what type of people choose to work with. Like as the person that they're gonna unlock. Like why would you, he doesn't even have that interesting of a power. Plus he's kind of gross looking. Just thinking about last match. You couldn't tell if that was a clown skin either. It didn't look default. It looked different, but I don't, I'm not 100% sure. Grim Pantry. Oh, this is the swamp. You. Is there a gen in here somewhere? That'd be really cool if there was. It does not look like it. Can I see who the killer is? Nope. Okay, well, I'm gonna just start working then. No, but I might be very soon. Why is she so fast? Why is she so fast? Why is she moving so quick? Is she a quicker killer than normal? Oh. Why does she seem so damn fast? She's moving. That seems so much faster than it's supposed to be. So she has trinatophobia. Come on, man, help me out. And she's in chase right now. Okay, come on. The skill charks, charks. The skill checks are not hard to hit. And now she knows that we're healing here. You dingus. Okay, thank you. Use my bounce, but I'm going to. You stay there. I keep looking on this one. Why are you 
blocking. Oh, spring burst. Wanna help out? Thanks, babe. really how this person's gonna play She just, she just gonna tunnel that one dude. That's kind of dumb. He's gonna patrol like that. I'm sorry, but we might just need to let him just sit there. Come on, man. so lame. She seems so ridiculously fast. Look at her. Oh great, I'm never getting out of here. This is so, such lame killer gameplay. But there's nothing I'm gonna do about it. This is how she wants to play. Check on me or something. I would much appreciate getting this. Move any slower, why don't you? Ah, oh, great. And now I'm next. Gosh, dang it. And they all ran away. Please realize I'm at pallet. She 
she's 100% tunneling me. Or not. Thank you. She's still gonna see us. Okay, she just kicked that gem. I'm coming. So dumb. How did he not get discovered? What is this book? Why are you running? Did I not see something that you saw? Ah. Keep working on it. I definitely saw. Why hide in a locker? That does nothing for you. This is why we lost. Why has he got tight booty pants and slippers? You're a man. What are you doing? Yep. 
should have dropped that pallet. Spirit reduce chance of alerting woodland creatures. Wasted a super good toolbox. is the invisibility duration. Condemned survivors spread condemned to other survivors. Ah. I st that still doesn't make sense how she runs so quick. Why was she so fast? Doesn't make sense. Oh, her terror radius is smaller. Why? Whatever. That was stupid. I think I'm just gonna end it here. I'm ending it a lot earlier than I said I was going to. I'm I'm tired. I'm gonna try and edit edit a video or something. So thank you. anybody who is watching this in the future. Uh, a subscribe, comment, like anything is very much appreciated. Uh. And uh, with that said, I'll catch you later, bums.